Hey, so I've been having some issues with my old tripod. It just was broken down and it wasn't adjust very well. And well, let's just say it was a piece of crap. So went online, found this um, Mo Man. So I figured that was for me because I'm like Mo Man. So Mo Man camera tripod with a slider. Uh, just so you got a reference, it's the MPT 284 KBO. Um, I picked this out because it had a lot of features to it and I don't currently have a really good camera for like taking my videos I've been using my phone and it does pretty well uh, But I needed something because eventually I will have that but in the meantime I got to get something better uh, For getting better shots overhead and different angles and higher lower so on and so forth uh, So I picked this up and I uh, thought we'd open the box and kind of see what it looked like on the inside um, this other thing out of the way so we don't really need that anymore so let's get that out well, first off it comes in a nice little carry bag so if I'm traveling uh, I can pack this up real easy and take it with me um, right out of the bag see it's uh, got some nice features to it you can see it's very sturdy it's got cushioned foam here to easy, make it easy to carry uh, it uh, has several auto lock stops so it'll stop at that position uh, the next position if you push the to press the button down the next position will be there lower it down a little more next position is almost perfectly horizontal and then that's about it so uh, you got that of course you have the extension here these are twist locks so that enables that uh, capability to extend there looks like about a foot looks like you have about another foot and then about another foot on top of that. So the benefit of that is that's going to get me significantly higher than the other piece of crap that is uh, duct taped and uh, uh, zip tied together. So a lot of uh, better height, better versatility. So let me unlock these and push this all the way back in, all the way together. Uh, nice comfortable grips for uh, being able to uh, raise and lower those. It's also got nice tapered rubber feet, so no matter what angle, uh, you're going to get pretty reasonable um, uh, stability on that without a lot of slippage. So looking at just the basic base, this is what we have. Uh, this also extends up and down significantly, which is nice. Gives you a lot of versatility. Now here is what makes this different than a lot of the others that I looked at. Uh, this is where I'm going to win with my overhead shots. So with this capability, there's a little button there you can depress it and I'll see if I can't point that out there's a little button right there so if you raise that up and just barely depress it this raises all the way up you loosen this knob and there's an angle right here on the swivel I now can lay this over at any angle I need to to get the right shot overhead I can slide this bar back and forth to get it just the way I need it and lock it in place here lock it in place there and that's very stable so if I swivel this around so that I had stability on one leg uh, I could see where that would be a huge benefit so a lot of options here with this that I didn't have before that will help me get better shots in the, in the uh, shop and be better off all the way around so when you're ready to put it back in you push this all the way forward lower this down and it will re-engage that little depressed button there and so now it's securely in place so you can't accidentally tip this over very handy i think i'm gonna love that um, moving on up this has a, uh, a double lock here for a ball swivel this will raise up and do 360 degrees you can lock that in on both sides there's a knob back here and i don't know if you can see it or not i'll see if i can't get a little closer uh, right there is actually a swivel, so you can actually adjust this, loosen this knob on the back, adjust this swivel so you can change your angle as needed and be able to do a full 360 if you're doing panoramic views. For what I'm doing, I probably won't need that to find the 360, but at least it's there should I need to. So anyway, full adjustability here. Let me uh, stand this down on the ground at the normal height. Loosen all these up. Fully extend them, tighten them back up. So lock that, extend and lock that, extend and lock that. One more, extend and lock that. So 
So just with this alone, I'm already massively better off than I was before. So I will extend this to the stop so that I've got nice stability. Now, when you add that feature already, I am gonna have much better shots, much better angles on my workpiece, which is gonna eventually help you see what I'm doing here better in the shop with my different projects. Um, this has full capability again of laying down and I did purchase a sort of an after effect thing and I will show you kind of what I'm planning on doing with that. Let me raise this all the way back up. Tilt this down. So I purchased an attachment. Originally this was for something else, but this is gonna work just fine. So if I'm trying to use my phone, obviously, I have the capability here of using this slide. Now you loosen this, this little platform comes right out. It's dovetailed in there. Uh, so now I can screw a phone adapter right to it and I'm in business, um, very handy. So if I get a phone adapter in there, I can put this right back, tighten that back up. So now uh, with ease, I should have no problems, uh, no matter which direction I go, of locking that phone in, getting just the right angle, whether it's down, up, or somewhere in between, I can get better shots. Uh, better angles for you. So this is going to be a winner. I'm excited about this because I desperately needed this. Desperately. Uh, you have no idea how awkward and hard and difficult it was using my current setup. Now, the nice thing about this setup here is um, I also purchased this sort of clip-on thing that also uses the phone adapter. And so let me slide this back in so I don't lose it, which is likely um, this is going to be uh, be able to me to get better shots on my cnc this will clip right on a lot of places this has got full flexibility on the bar here and uh, full adjustability on the arm uh, it does connect there so i can uh, mount that same camera mount right to it and hopefully that'll help me achieve better closer shots uh, on some of the tools that i'm using this will clip easily to different things this comes right off in theory, it should. Yep, it's supposed to. Anyway, this will slide. There we go. This will come off. So if I want to use a normal quarter 20, I can create my own fixture for different platforms. I can pop this off and easily now make my own fixtures using this platform and the phone adapter. Eventually will be camera, like I said. Uh, but this will allow me to do that. I can also mount it directly to the clip. So this is a separate piece that I purchased. Um, both are on Amazon. I can't remember the name of this one, uh, but I can certainly add a link if you want it. But this is a handy little item. This little alligator clip here will allow me to, to mount to a lot of different surfaces and uh, even remove this all together and mount this by itself to different fixtures and jigs that I might be using. So uh, hopefully some better shots are on the way and better content, which uh, is really what everybody wants. Nobody wants to watch a shaky, nasty, ugly video. So hopefully uh, these will help give me a little bit of an upgrade, at least until I can get me a solid camera uh, for shooting the video shots in the shop. So a lot of upgrades coming in the shop. This was just one of them. And sadly, this has been on order for like a, six weeks. Uh, everything's been slowed down, but I am really excited about this. I'm going to probably go straight away and use this uh, probably on my next few videos and really play around with this and learn uh, the, the better features of it. But I think this is going to help produce a lot of stuff better in the shop. Um, I hope. So anyway, if nothing else, uh, no more duct tape, no more zip ties, and the tripod will be stable for better shots. Well, this is Chris uh, showcasing the MoMan, uh, whatever model number that was. Um, anyway, I uh, like it. I'm excited. This should do very well, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Uh, if you don't like this video, check out the others, and we'll continue to work together to learn some woodworking. This is Chris with Chris Cross Crafts. Till next time.